I know you aren't much of a goal person, uh, but what are your aspirations? Win. I, it is the most, like, to me, my aspirations are, like, I, I don't look much past the hood pins when it comes to goals for me. Like, I'm not looking that far down the road. I'm looking at tomorrow all the time. I can't call the future. I, that's in God's hands. That's not me. Um, right? I can try to, to handle what I can in, the, in today, but what goes on years from now, I don't know what's going to happen. You, you have said before something to the effect of you feel like you probably should have won four or five championships by now. Why? Yeah. Well, because I should have. <laughs> like, I really, I don't know. I look at, uh, you know, my first shot at the championship four. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's I should have. I mean, I hit the wall and made a mistake, right? Like that kind of the first time in it as young, I kind of needed that. But if I look at... Um, you know, 20, uh, was that, 14, 16 with Carl, you know, racing for the, the win. Um, he throws a block and we get tangled up on the infield there. Probably should have won that championship. You know, I, I made the move on the restart to, to make that happen. It was probably going to get ahead of him. And, and that was a late race restart. I was probably going to win that, that championship. 2015 with the whole Kansas situation, we were the most dominant car on the racetrack. We were going for, we were leading in Martinsville for four wins in a row. <laughs> we, were, we were on fire uh, and we didn't make championship four because of that. Right? Like, so I, there's a few right there, right? 2020, I'm racing for a championship in the lead with 30 to go after a pit stop, second and a half in front of Chase. Boy, this one's in the bag, we're in good shape. Get a tire vibration, can't even see where I'm going, the car goes to hell. Like, like, Gosh, like, so that's when someone says, oh, two-time champion, how's that feel? I'm like, you don't know how many I should have. I think I should have like five of these things. You think there could still be opportunity to go down as the most accomplished ever? Yeah, I mean, I, no one's going to beat Richard Petty, <laughs> right? I mean, 200 wins, it's not, it's not possible. Um, I'd, li I'd like to say it is, but shoot, I mean, we don't race as much mm -hmm. as, as they did then. Um, the, the landscape of our sports is completely different. Is seven championships out of the question? No, it's not out of the question at all. We get to the championship four, we're the favorite every time. Like, I, I really feel like that, no matter what. Um, that nobody mentally can be stronger than, than myself as a driver and my race team, no matter how, how that plays out. So uh, NASCAR, they pull like 10,000 fans um, where they rank drivers in different categories i think you know what yeah, I know i'm, what I'm about. talking yeah. about and yeah. you uh, come in uh, number two which yeah. is an amazing score number two overall but you said what when you found that out <laughs> so this is this week actually I, I got this news and uh it takes your likability score it takes your popularity it takes your on-track performance uh and, and it kind of ranks you within your competitors and it averages out to where when you put all that together, I'm, I'm P2. And uh, it's just not first. That's bottom line, right? It's, it's not first. I want to move that up, right? So on my on track was P1, so that's perfect, right? You can't get better than that. And then, you know, my likability and my, my popularity is, is lagging on that. And the question was, well, why am I not first? And why am I like fifth and sixth over here? I mean, like that's, that's not the goal. Like right. The goal is to be first in every, every category. Mm -hmm. um, just the way I'm wired. Just want to be first in everything. I like winning a lot and I like solving problems that come, you know, the, why didn't we win? And yeah, I want to win that too. Okay, you mentioned you <laughs> like winning a lot though, um, but to what extent does losing affect you more than winning? It, losing definitely affects me more than winning, 100%. Definitely does. Typical race win, there's a 20 minute high where it's just awesome. And then it's, okay, cool, what's next? Because um, it's, it's, it's got to be out the windshield all the time. And yeah, it's just losing makes you just want to figure out why you lost and you go back to work. Uh, so either way, you get home and you go back to work by the time it's over. Because <laughs> yeah. there's always next week, there's always next year. Um, one of my favorite quotes Roger says is, is not to trip on your press clippings, right? And, which is another way of saying, look out the windshield. Right? Don't, don't get too reliant on what you did yesterday, because uh, it doesn't matter. 